Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another plan with Vivi. This week we are planning June 24th through the 30th in my Erin Condren A Life Planner. The kit that I'm going to be using today is called Life by the Lake by the Planner Shack. And this is the week that I'm going to be on my family vacation. It actually started on Sunday, but it goes through Thursday and um, we're going to be at the Frio River. So it's not quite a lake, but it's like the closest thing that I can get as far as finding a sticker kit that would work with what's going on this week. And I really like it. It has a lot of factors in this, um, in the full boxes that are pretty much reminiscent of what we're going to be doing at the cabin. So I am excited to get started with this plan with me. So let me show you what I'm using. Okay, so here is the kit. Like I said, it is called Life at the Lake. It is by the Planner Shack, and it is so cute. I love the colors in this spread. Granted, we're not gonna be fishing, because I mean, granted, there are fish in the river, but you know, there's not much you can catch. Um, this kind of this, lake hair don't care, it could be river hair don't care, but same thing. Of course, there's gonna be a cooler. Um, not much of the, like, kayaking or river rafting or anything like that going on but you know the lake the fire pit there is a fire pit there by the river so uh, at the cabins we're saying that of course that I don't have a dog and my niece is not taking her dog but for the most part this kit's gonna go well with what I'm doing so we have the next page here with the washi sticker or washi like stickers so we have here the pattern washi this is again the um, bottom washi like sticker we've got a full sheet here and then like this um, bow sticker to go on top which I'm not going to be using I'm going to be using a different one we have some nice full boxes here and of course the page flags on the side here then we have the half boxes the day covers with the day numbers on there full boxes which I won't be using the weekend banner which I will be using and then of course we have some three heart checklists and again the headers down here another type of full box checklist there of course we've got the hearts checklist on the side which we will be utilizing some more page flags some glitter washi appointment labels and then you've got some bow labels here and some dividers on there moving on to like the cancel maybe tomorrow not today reschedule stickers hopefully we won't have to be using those again we have some stackable sidebars water tracker work stickers habit trackers both these and some other appointment labels there we have our little things here which we will be using we have some rounded edges of the full boxes and quarter boxes here we have some icon deco here i'm liking this one right here very much so we've got that going we have some fancy labels going on here with these long full boxes um which I don't know if I'm going to be using this long one or this one. I don't know. But then, of course, we have the deco sheet. And then you have a different type of weekend banner if you wanted to use the page flag one instead of the scripted one. So that is the kit for the extras that I pulled out. This is the washi that I pulled to go with this kit. Of course, the main one that goes on the sidebar and the one that goes by the coil. I thought that was really pretty. It just went spot on perfect match the washi tape i'm going to be using is from scribble prints co it is this nice aqua color with the silver bows and for the foil overlays i pulled out these silver speckle dot foils from scribble prints co and then of course since it is going to be my family vacation i pulled out the family time munchkins from once more with love i don't know exactly which one i'm going to be using as far as the color but i pulled both of those out just in case of course i will also be using some of my icon sheets again i will be letting you know what i'm using as i'm using it if i forget of course just please ask me questions in the comment section and i will answer you back as soon as possible so with that being said let's get started So the first thing I'm thing I'm going to do is I'll lay down the green glitter washi on that sidebar, and then I'm going to lay down this cerulean colored skinnier glitter washi by the coil on the second half of the week. 
And for me, these are just absolutely great guidelines for me to put down that bottom sticker washi and then the washi tape as well. So after making sure that those are secured down, I'm going to trim off the excess. And then I'm going to take my Tombow Mono Correction Tape and I am just going to white out the bottom dotted lines and then that bottom border of the last box that's there on the set of boxes for the week. And that's just because I don't want those black lines peeking through the washi tape. And then I'm going to take my ruler with my preset measuring marks and mark down where I need to cut down that washi so that the actual washi tape will fit. And then I'm just going to take my scalpel and score that washi like sticker. Peel that one off that down. I like to leave just a little bit of white that you can barely see on that bottom edge. It's not quite to the edge of the paper, it's just a smidge above it. And then I'm going to take my um, card and use this to uh, use it as a guideline to cut off the washi. And then you can see me there having to re-score that bottom washi like sticker and putting down that beautiful washi tape that is from Scribble Prints Co. And then we have the bottom washi all set. The next thing I'm going to do is measure down to see how far down I am going to do uh, the fashion girl I decided since this is vacation week and I don't have much going on for the first four days of the week I was just going to go ahead and use that large fashion girl sticker and sticker on the sidebar just to kind of go with the whole theme of things and then I'm using my card there that is an actual um that's not like a gift card or anything that's actually my uh, Korean transportation card or TV money card. It's what they use to use the subway and bus systems and all that stuff in uh, South Korea, um, which it's a really thick card. So that's what I've been using as a guide to cut off stuff. And then I put down a piece of pattern washi there at the bottom. And now I'm gonna go and put the deco up on the top. I decided not to use the date covers since the deco in this kit was really cute and I really didn't want to cut off a lot of it so I wanted to show it. And then there was like two little outfits, one with like a t-shirt and jean shorts that I put down in the corner and then the swimsuit that I put down the other just because I liked the way it looked and I wanted to keep them together. And I didn't want to cut any of it off so I just put it down at the bottom. And then I added some more deco up at the top. And now I'm putting on the page flags and cutting off the excess stickers that are hanging off the edge of the paper. And I went with the page flags that look like they're reflecting water. And I'm gonna do that to the very first side too. But for the second half of the week, I'm cutting off the excess stickers and then putting down that page flag. Even though I am, um, I switched, since I usually work Sunday through Wednesday, and I took that off, um, I switched a couple of days so I can actually go on vacation since we had just a couple more people that asked off, and so I ended up working on Friday and Saturday, but I still wanted to denote my weekend being Friday and Saturday just to keep up with the standard norm of things. And now I'm going out and laying down my full boxes. And I put the fire pit on Tuesday and Wednesday. 
distance that we were going to be at the cabin so I wanted to make sure that that happened there and then I put down the um, ice cooler on Thursday and I'm going back and putting some glitter headers on the top of the whole boxes and I wasn't sure if those of uh, the border dotted lines on those boxes were going to show through the glitter washi headers but I went ahead and put white out on top of them just in case and then for the Friday Saturday sticker I took the deck sticker and I put one the way it's supposed to be and then I flipped the other one just to kind of look like it was actually like a two box sticker and I think it came out very well and then I put the little dog sticker on Sunday and you can see me covering up those black dots on the top of the board of the box just in case they peek through to work on the sidebar I put down a piece of pattern washi and put the pink goals label on top of it and then underneath that I put one of these stackable sidebars both Monday through Sunday and then I just went ahead and put down the three habit trackers without any glitter washi headers between them I just put one on underneath the other and I decided that that was just gonna work best for me for this week and called it done and then I am taking the silver foil overlays and this is like the light speckled foil overlays from Scribble Prince Co and putting them on top of the glitter header. these don't have any today headers I went ahead and pulled off the little things and put those on the very first box the best very first of the full box of the day and I think they all went on top except for Thursday and then it says Thursday through Sunday I uh, I was going to be busy I went ahead and I put down the to-do headers already I didn't really plant, I didn't use the today headers for Monday through Wednesday since it's vacation and I wasn't really going to have much of a to-do list other than just to relax and have a good time so I just left those open. And now I'm going to back and putting down the dinner stickers and work stickers for the days that I'm going to be working. glitter washi on the coil for the first half of the week since that was done and then I'm going back and putting down work stickers for Friday and Saturday and then that pretty much is the base for the week so now we're going to get started and going day by day. So we're going to Monday and I put down this pattern half box and I am kind of switching back and forth through the little family munchkin, the munchkin family time stickers to see which one I felt would go best with the color theme. And I went ahead and went with this light green munchkin family to mark family time. 
the first thing we were going to do Monday after we woke up and had breakfast was head to the river. And we spent about four hours down at the river. It was fun. We had a great time. After that, I put down a quarter box sticker to denote that we were having sangria time. And then I took a post-it note sticker from Paper Crown Panic. I stuck that down to mark s'mores because my dad was barbecuing that night and we were going to make s'mores afterwards for dessert. I think my niece was looking forward to that all day. Moving on to Tuesday, we did go back to the river, spent another four hours there, we had a good time. Then later that afternoon, I was able to get up close and got a chance to feed the deer, which I don't think I did last year. I know my mom and my niece fed the deer last year, but I didn't. Since we're not using a Today header, I went ahead and put one of those bow dividers there just to kind of break up the space and cover up the the black dots there. And I put down the little scribbler Celeste girl eating tacos because it was Taco Tuesday so we decided to make tacos that night and we did end up having a movie night. My niece took a bunch of movies so we can watch and she definitely wanted to watch a movie that night and the movie she picked out was Coco. She really loves that movie, and my parents were there, so she really loves watching that movie with her grandparents. And my dad had a great time watching the movie and then remembering, like, oh yeah, he has seen it before. Moving on to Wednesday, I put down one of those blue post-it notes from Paper Crown because I wanted to mark down that we had a rainy day on Wednesday at the cabin, which wasn't too bad, especially since last year when we went to the cabin, it rained, I want to say, three of the five days that we were there, so this time it wasn't too bad that it was only rainy two days. It rained Wednesday, and it probably rained, I want to say, till 2 o'clock. And then after that, me and Tori took a nature hike, so I put down the little Birkenstocks there. And then the afternoon, there was a Golden Girls Marathon, which she just started watching, and she thinks it's hilarious. And then we did play bingo night, so I put the little balloons down to denote that we played bingo. On the Thursday, it was another rainy morning, but it was time to pack up and leave, because we had to... Um, be out of the cabin by 11 a.m. so they can get it ready for the next family that was coming in that afternoon. And then I put down the little Celeste packing up. And I don't know why I started doing Thursday and Friday right next to each other, but I did. So you can see I put down a laundry sticker for Friday and then a post-it note um, to denote my nail appointment or mine and my mom's nail appointment. And then back to Thursday, I put down a quarter box of markdown that we, um, as family tradition, went to the lake house in Kerrville for lunch. Which, if you haven't been, I suggest you go because it is totally delicious. And then I put a Celeste with a, a plane in the money stack because Friday was payday. heart checklist on Thursday and now I am going back and writing on everything that we're doing, packing up, going to eat. When we got back to my sister's house we needed to unload the vehicles which is my sister and brother-in-law's truck and then I had to move my stuff into my car 
and then um, Tori was debating whether or not we should have another family movie night on Thursday. That night we definitely ordered pizza because nobody wanted to cook. We were all pretty much kind of exhausted from the week. And I just went back and put a little scribbler girl with a chef's hat to denote when we ate at the lake house. And then I put a Celeste holding a wine glass for the sangria time. And then the happy Celeste down when I got to feed the deer. So. Friday and now it's time to put down the checklist. I did another three part checklist and I just like oops forgot to cut off one and so there's my three part checklist. I need to put down that I needed to go to H E B. I needed to have my coffee and I needed to make sure I had uniforms ready since I was going to be working six nights straight. I need to make sure I have that On Saturday, I woke up early to plan my week in my A5 planner. So my earring content planner is my memory keeping planner. It is the one that I use for filming. But to do all my other stuff and to keep other um, to keep track of things that I kind of just want to keep private and to myself, I plan in a A5 planner using printables from Just Any Old Printables. And so Saturday morning, I needed to make sure that I got up early and that I planned my my upcoming week. And since I did that, I put down the little sleep mask because I needed to make sure that I took a nap. At least for two hours since I got up early and then in my to-do sticker I put pack lunch coffee and remind myself it's back to no junk food on Sunday I put the little trash can sticker to the note trash out and then clean up I also did my three heart checklist on my to-do to pack my lunch to have coffee and to remind myself no junk food which I've been doing really good so I've been proud of myself and of course I wrote down what my work schedule and then of course my meals and I put down the glitter washi the green glitter washi to seal off and to complete the week and trim that down and I went at that Jennifer Scribbler on the snorkel and that's it